doggy in the window. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Villanova Park in Catalonia, 25 miles from the city of Barcelona. Why am I doing a voiceover? Because on the only day I could film, they were doing a lot of noisy groundwork. Anyway, here's a quick tour of Villanova Park. Spacious, hard standing pitches, although the trees can get in the way of manoeuvring. The supermarket, wellness centre, gift shop and restaurant are open throughout the winter, but the open air swimming pool isn't. Wi-Fi is free in the bar when you buy a drink, but the day that I tried it, it unfortunately wasn't working. A lot of the campsite appears to be sublet to tour operators, and as such, there are a lot of rental units. To access Barcelona, there is a direct bus service from the park gates, which takes 75 minutes. However, dogs are not allowed on the bus. The helpful receptionist at Villanova Park showed me on a map where we could park for free and walk the 10 minutes to the railway station. From here, we could get a direct train into Barcelona. As well as being dog friendly, the train is also a wheelchair friendly way of getting into the city. When we arrived, I was already hungry and needed the loo, and the Happy Cow app on my phone showed us this wonderful cafe in the neighbourhood, Supa, meaning soup. It was a lovely place with friendly staff and a delicious two-course meal for 10 euro. From here on in, we just wandered and rambled. Barcelona is chock full of amazing architecture, stunning design and fantastic art.
the city saved the best till last in the form of the Estacio de Franza railway terminus. Stunning. It's up there with London St Pancras and Antwerp and Central, albeit on a smaller scale. So that brings us to the end of our tour of Villanova Park and our day trip to Barcelona. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, you know what to do. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you don't already, and it just leaves me to say from Dougal and from me, thanks for tuning in. <laughs>